Hey guys, so some good news on MetaZoo. Check out Nick's channel. He's the only MetaZoo content creator left. Alpha Investment, even though he was very, very positive about MetaZoo until it literally bankrupt, has now deleted many, many videos, which I will show you. I have a list of videos. A subscriber sent me a list of all the MetaZoo videos that have been deleted and these are the only ones with MetaZoo in the title of the name so there's definitely way more where he does speak positively about MetaZoo. So imagine that you pre-order Legacy, you pre-order the newest set of Pokemon or Magic. You spend $2,500 according to the comment an individual has spent that amount of money and you pre-order it and instead of getting your pre-order on time and it's delayed you get a letter from a court saying that, hey, we have entered bankruptcy. So again, instead of, you know, you paid your good money, the money's gone, it's long gone, and you're expecting a pre-order of some type, I would hope, but instead you get this letter, notice of bankruptcy case filing, and it's got MetaZoo's game LLC, it's got the uh, debtor's attorney, it's got the bankruptcy trustee, and they said that in most instances, the filing of bankruptcy case automatically stays certain collection and other actions against the debtor and the debtor's property. Under certain circumstances, the stay may be limited to 30 days or not exist at all. Yada yada, if you would like to view the bankruptcy petition on the documents filed by the debtor, they are available at our internet homepage, da 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 da. You may be a creditor of the debtor. If so, you will receive an additional notice from the court setting forth important deadlines. So you're just a MetaZoo player, man. You don't want to deal with this legality. Why am I not getting my... So all these MetaZoo players, some of them who have completely... Because it's many months removed. Some of them who don't want anything to do with the game has decided that, hey, we're going to send you a letter, everybody. To remind you that you lost money. <laughs> this is just a uh, savage, man. I don't know what else to say. I mean, just just think about this for a moment. You are a MetaZoo fan. You have prepaid some amount of money, right? You have um, prepaid some amount of money, and that money is long gone. Okay, but you have forgotten about it. Right, you, you, you kind of just forgot about it. You don't want to be reminded of it. And then they send you a legal letter from bankruptcy court saying, hey, creditors, you have to keep track of this. There are important dates coming up that you should be aware of. Like, this is the worst case scenario. I, I can't remember the last time a card game was like this because back in the Odin days, they didn't do pre-orders. I don't remember a card game. Fire Emblem, Cypher didn't, Inuyasha didn't. They, nobody did these pre-orders. This is like the Kickstarter like, generation of where you just pay a bunch of money and hope the game gets developed. If it doesn't, F off, right? Like this should never happen where the players, the players are owed money. The vendors are owed money. The Comic Con's owed money. Marvel is owed money. Sam Rio's owed money. These are not... These are people who are going to get paid before you get paid or you get your product. So here's a, a list of all the alpha investment videos that he's ever made and now has been deleted for obvious reason. He won't even mention MetaZoo, right? Um, I, I read in the comments that like, oh, when they get new ownership, Rudy will be back. Will he be back? He's really pumping the flesh and blood, these sources, his grading company. At least his grading company, he owns that, right? He has some level of control. He has no control over Mike Waddle, right? If Mike Waddle doesn't want to pick up his phone, don't pick up the phone. And Rudy make a video and then <laughs> finally they talk, right? It's um, a little embarrassing, right? I mean, look at all these videos, guys. Like people think, oh, I make a lot of video, uh, MetaZoo videos. But no, man, there's one dude who's made more MetaZoo videos than me. <laughs> and, and, and he's nowhere to be found. Argos Anonymous, like what the hell? Last time, you know, I'd be like, oh, he's busy making his cafe. Does he got a cafe? It's kind of weird. He doesn't want people to go to his cafe, right? Maybe it's like a private cafe. I don't know. Maybe it's a cafe in his home. 
Like, if I were Argos, I would just straight up say, hey, I got burnt. I got burned bad. And that's what Rudy did. That, that was a smart tactic because then Rudy's like, hey, I'm one of you guys. I got burned for a million. You guys got burned for, you know, a thousand. No biggie. I got burned for a million. But I bet you he didn't get burned for pre-orders. The pre-orders thing is really just stupid. No other card game really does this this way where it pre-orders multiple sets, right? Like, okay, we haven't delivered this pre-order. All right, let's set up the next pre-order. Oh, let's set up the next pre-order. At the end of the day, like, you, I mean, you're a card. You shouldn't have to worry about this shit. You should just go to Target, Walmart, buy your cards, and come home and open it and have fun. Why are you funding, com and this is my biggest gripe. Actually, one of my cl closer friends, not closest, but closer friends at NYU, C was one of the original employees of Kickstarter, the, the original team when they did the hiring. And I thought it was a mother effing scam when she told me what the company was. Now, of course, in, in hindsight, she's much richer than I am now. But when she explained the concept, I just couldn't get it from a gaming standpoint. So we are going to we're going to fundraise all this money, and it's going to go to the production, or we, we have no control over where the money that we're giving you goes to. But our idea is that we eventually can receive a product. That's all fine if the product gets delivered, even if it's delivered late, right? Like the Mega Man product, whatever, in Kickstarter, the pseudo Mega Man. Even if the product's not delivered, like fully specced out, we got something. We we have something. This you got nothing. All you got was a legal letter, and then the copium in the Meta Zoo community. If you read Nick's comments, oh, this is a collectible item. It's going to be so valuable someday. It's a mother effing legal letter template. Like, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> like, it's a legal letter saying MetaZoo is in bankruptcy. That's collectible. Like, like truly, truly. They, they think that's collectible? My God, like, you know, my mother effing God. What is going on here? Um, anyway, my point is quite simple. It's These people are victims. And... And, and just like Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast and so on, I think the victims cannot understand that they are victims because they're trained not to see themselves as victims. They're trained to see themselves as like MetaZoo warriors or cryptid hunters. But they are victims who was taken advantage of. And instead of getting the product that they paid, native streamer kits, legacy, whatever they pre-ordered, God forbid a store be one of these victims and pre-order thousands of dollars, right? They instead got a letter from bankruptcy court saying that they now have to follow the case, which takes their time, which is stressful. And honest to God, like it's probably a lot of these people who they sent letters to, they probably don't even remember what they bought. And you can see from the comments, it's been such a long time since they paid the pre-orders they don't know if they canceled, if they didn't cancel, how much money they have. They have no idea. That's how long it's been since they communicated. It's pretty bad.